What is Cloudflare doing? How does a wall of lava lamps protect our passwords and credit card info? Intern, explain this. You know, every time you see that little padlock on your browser, that's an encryption key scrambling everything between you and the website. So when you type your password or you send a WhatsApp message or you enter in your credit card details, Cloudflare generates keys protecting your data. And if those keys are predictable, man, like attackers would just steal everything. Okay, but computers generate random numbers all the time. So what's the issue there? Well, computers only do what you tell them. They follow mathematical formulas. Like when you call Python's random function, Function. It's not actually random, it's pseudo random. Give it the same number and you get the same sequence every single time. An attacker who figures out your starting number can predict everything and then you're really screwed. So why can't a hacker just record the lava lamps or predict them? There must be some sort of pattern. Because there's no equation for it. Cloudflare's San Francisco office films a hundred lava lamps all the time. And the thing is that the wax is so sensitive to temperature that even if someone walks in front of it, it changes the pattern. The camera captures each frame as thousands of pixel values that then get fed into their servers as the seed for generating encryption keys. So when your browser connects to a website, Cloudflare uses those unpredictable numbers to generate a session key. And even if somehow you were able to film the lava lamps yourself, Cloudflare mixes the video data in with data from their own office servers and production servers. So you'd need to hack multiple servers to get in. This is kind of good. Look, Intern, I'll be honest, I've been reviewing your application and I noticed quite a lot of hands-on projects. Where'd you get those from? Oh, I just go to learn.nextwork.org and do a bunch of hands-on projects. Well, you've got the job, Intern.